Once upon a biblical era, there was a man named Gideon, who was often mistaken as the most reluctant hero of his time. Gideon had the courage of a squirrel on a precarious branch and lacked the bravado most biblical heroes seemed to possess. But as fate would have it, he was chosen by none other than the Almighty himself to lead the Israelites against the oppressive Midianites. Me? Are you sure? Gideon said, scratching his head and looking around as if God might have been speaking to someone more fitting, like his neighbor Dave, who once chased away a fox with a particularly mean glare. The story began with an angel popping up out of nowhere, like some unexpected guest who forgot to RSVP and proclaimed, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior, to which Gideon replied, you mean me or the guy behind me? The angel insisted it was indeed him, which perplexed Gideon to no end. Having grown up in Oprah of Manasseh, Gideon was more accustomed to complaining about the weather than waging wars. Gideon was hesitant and demanded a litany of signs from God, like a modern day employee seeking assurance their vacation request got approved. He laid out a fleece on the threshing floor, requesting dew on it only, then dry fleece in the dew covered ground. After playing meteorologist without a compass, Gideon finally capitulated and decided to summon an army, armed with some rusted pitchforks and maybe a goat or two. Now, assembling an army of over 32,000 men sounded great until God, in his classic twist of humor, decided it was time to downsize. Way too many, God said, as if critiquing a particularly overstaffed office party. Anyone afraid, which was predictably more than a few, were sent home. Cue a walk of shame with only 10,000 soldiers remaining. Still too large, God declared, and conducted a drinking water test, finally whittling down the troops to a mere 300. With the final squad assembled like a rejected Spartacus cast, Gideon proceeded with a plan that involved trumpets, jars, and a lot of shouting. Baffled Midianites awoke to a melodic cacophony, smashing pots, and a shocking defeat at the hands of a people led by what could only be described as a very surprised Gideon. In the end, Gideon's triumph was less about his prowess and more about what seems to be the eternal lesson in trusting divine wisdom, or perhaps an unusual case of being outfoxed by celestial comedic timing. And that, my dear congregation, is what you might call a heavenly sense of humor.